Hey, Playtime City friends, we have our Soul Eclipse glasses for the big event, right, Munch? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Awesome. Playtime City. What is an eclipse? An eclipse is when one object in space blocks another from you. A solar eclipse is when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, casting the moon's shadow down on Earth. The moon blocks the sun from our view, causing the sky to darken in the middle of the day. But don't worry, it only lasts for a short period of time. So now we're going to demonstrate how a solar eclipse works. We have two foam balls, it's a cut pool noodle, this is basically for the stand, and a flashlight. You guys can do this at home. You don't really need the foam balls. You can use regular balls. You want a large ball and a small ball. You can have your brother or sister or your mom and dad hold the balls up. But because I'm the camera person and we only have munch, we are going to put them on the stand. So first we need to stick the toothpick inside here if it stops rolling. But can you hold it? Yeah, there you go. And then we're going to stick it in. And then just stick it here, anywhere on the foam. And this is Earth. And this one is the moon. So we're gonna stick it right here. Okay, now we want them to kind of be on the same level, so I'm gonna push this down a little bit more. But basically, we are showing you how all the objects will align in space. So you have Earth, the moon, and this flashlight will be the sun. So when I shine it directly on, you will see that Earth has the moon's shadow on its surface. Do you see it much? Yeah. And so that's what we are going to experience, the solar eclipse. So we move the moon from the pool noodle and we have the sun shining directly on Earth. So this would be like one of our brightest days. And now with the solar eclipse, the moon is going to block the sun, you see? And there we have it, a solar eclipse. Awesome, right? Yeah, and then it goes back. And then it goes back. So that's why our solar eclipse doesn't last long because Earth and the moon is always in motion. Will everyone see the solar eclipse? No, not everyone will see the eclipse. During an eclipse, some people will see a total eclipse. Others will see a partial eclipse, and many others will not notice any difference in the sun. Only the people within the small area covered by the center of the moon's shadow, which is called umbra, will see a total eclipse. People just outside of that area that are within the moon's outer shadow, called penumbra, we'll see a partial eclipse. How long does a solar eclipse last? The solar eclipse from start to finish lasts about two and a half hours, with the moment of totality lasting up to four minutes. This is the point where the moon fully covers the sun. Why do we need to wear these glasses to see it? Looking directly at the sun can cause damage to the eyes and can cause blindness. We need to wear special eclipse glasses that will block out the sun's rays. Regular sunglasses will not work. Now for the big event. All right, one of the ways you can see the eclipse is holding a cardboard with a pinhole, making sure you line it up with the sun, and then you can see it on the paper. So it's not a full circle. It's very hard to see, but it's gonna slowly cover up and you'll see less and less of the sun. But this is another way you can see the eclipse on paper if you don't have glasses.
What is the next solar eclipse? A solar eclipse typically happens every one to three years and often occurs at the poles or in the middle of the ocean. A total solar eclipse that we can see is very rare. The next one to cross North America will take place 20 years from now in August 2044. But here are the dates and locations for the next two total solar eclipses. Playtime City friends, we hope this video was helpful in learning what solar eclipse and total solar eclipse are. Mark your calendar for the next one in 20 years. <laughs> Bye Playtime City friends, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.